Hello, my collective. Elsie here with a collective Valentine's reading for you. Yeah, we are uh, looking at the, the month of love, right? There it is. Get one more. And uh, yeah, I'm here to just do a, a reading for you. All right. It is, um, okay. It is a... Um, collective reading, which means you're going to have to put on your own intuitive hat to know if this is your reading or not. I will call out the signs as I see them. We are going to use some oracles. We're going to start there, and then we will get into some tarot. Let's figure it out. All right. So first one we have, what's this? Ooh, I like it. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old, oh, before something new can enter our lives. Let go. All will work out. Yeah, it's the truth. And I've said it before, you know, if you're the person who is who is um, unhappy where you are, it's time for you to surrender all of that to the universe to figure out what's the best thing to do for you. But it says here that, you know, you have to surrender something before something else can enter your life. So for some of you, you may be in a relationship that you're not happy in and you're not giving up that relationship until you know there's another relationship on the horizon. And the universe is saying that you gotta, you gotta let go first. You gotta let go. The way the universe works, y'all, is when you are ready to jump, then the net, then the net appears. You need to have faith first. So I feel like there is somebody here who needs to, who needs to jump in order to see the net. Because I feel like you're in a standoff with the universe. It feels like for some of you, you want to get out of the relationship that you're in, but you're not. Yeah. You got to surrender the old before something new can come in. It says here, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Oh, boy. So somebody here is getting a, getting a warning. Yeah. Not really a warning, Elsie, is it? Well, I guess I see it as a warning. Maybe that's Elsie seeing it as a warning. Um, because, you know, the universe is saying to you, this life is too short. You have to do what's right. Do what feels right for you. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. It might be because of someone else. There might be someone else in the mix, someone else that you have feelings about, feelings for. That's what, I'm, that's what it feels like here, that somebody is looking into the future and dreaming about a future with someone else, but they're not strong enough or willing to just get out of the relationship. And I'm not saying get out of a relationship to get into another relationship. Get out of the relationship. Get the new apartment. Take the kids with you. Get the heck out of there. Yeah. If that's what you want to do, it's time for you to surrender. And surrendering is sometimes just realizing that it is what it is and I can't change it. But Cupid's arrow does strike after that. I feel like you're being asked to open up so you can. Um, you can move forward. I think you're being asked to move forward so you can release something. We've got judgment. Um, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Your situation is unique. I believe it is. And the truth is, is we all have our own reasons as to why we get in and out of relationships. We all have our own reasons, and your reason isn't any less than mine, and mine isn't any less or more than anyone else's. We just, we have to understand that we all are on a unique path, and that we all have challenges, but all of our challenges are unique to us. I think you're making a judgment here. You're realizing that it is... It's up to you to make the decisions that are best for your life, no matter how they affect other people. But you're worried. You're worried that people are going to judge you. Um, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It doesn't. It just is a time waster. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. You've been worrying about the situation and how to react to it for a while, I think. And you've been doing that, worrying about it, because you don't want people to judge you about the decision that you're making to leave your relationship or leave your marriage or get the divorce or whatever it is. I feel like you're worried about people judging you. We've got trust. We'll take two. I like both of them. We've got trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So you're supposed to use your intuition here. Stop worrying. Stop wondering what people are going to think of you because people people are always going to find a reason not to agree with your life. And that's why you not you got to be really honest and truthful with yourself about what you want. 
because people will lead you astray for their own benefit. And I'm not saying people are sinister, but understand that some people just don't have your best interest at heart. It says you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice, which means you're listening to your intuition. It says have faith and uh, have faith in your intuition. So the thing that you are, I believe, thinking about, the romance here, um, I think that you need to trust your gut more so you can stop worrying. You need to make a decision here. It says friendliness. You are able to recognize that traits in common with, with another in order to sorry, you are able to recognize traits in common with others in order to forgive love-based, uh, in order to forge love-based connections. Oh my gosh, I'm reading too much today. Okay, so um, I feel like when you break away from this relationship, not when, but if you break away, if you decide to break away from this relationship, that you're supposed to do it under a, a friendly um, way. And I know that breaking up is hard. I'm divorced, right? I know that that's hard, but you don't have to hate each other. You don't have to hate each other is what I'm going to say. It, it can be done in a way where you don't have to hate each other. It can be done in a friendly way. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge a love-based connection. All right, give us tarot. What does the... Um, the collective need to know. Thank you. The lovers. This is about some sort of a relationship. It's someone that you chose. Yep, you're currently, I think some of you are currently in a relationship with someone that you chose. And for others of you, you are in a relationship that you're in that you're not necessarily happy in. You're trying to find the balance between them. Between um, having the lover and not being fully happy. Understand the Nine of Cups in reverse. I don't see it as being miserable, but I see it as you feeling like you can't reach the goal of the ultimate happiness. That you've just got to stay in the Nine of Cups in reverse. That you're supposed to wait and be patient and try and balance it all. And for some of you, that is true. But this, this worries you. This whole situation has, has you worried that people are going to judge you for the decisions that you make. You are making a decision. The Two of Wands is here telling me you're making a decision. And the Page of Cups. The Empress. Okay. So now I get it a little bit more, right? We have someone who is... Who knows that if they stay in this relationship, for those of you that this is your scenario, if you stay in this relationship, whatever you want in the future will not transpire. I feel like you'll stay here. You'll stay at the Nine of Cups in reverse. So it's 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 not being either it's not being able to see your happiness because you can't receive it, or it's about not not feeling happy in a relationship with someone that you feel is your soulmate. And so you're wondering, well, I'll see, why am I unhappy then? Because y'all not, you know, we have so many soulmates, right? And they're not all healed. Some of them are still in the process of healing. And if we find the wrong soulmate at the right time or the wrong twin at the right time or the wrong karmic at the right time, you know what I mean? It has to be all about timing. And you, this could be the wrong person or this could be the, the, wrong timing, right person. Maybe you two have things to learn. Maybe you need to get away from each other and then come back together again. It's all about timing and lessons is what it is. So we have the two of wands and the lovers. You're making a decision between two people. I feel like there's someone else on the horizon for you collective. They could be a Gemini. They don't have to be. But I feel like you are at the crossroads of your life here, wondering if possibly for some of you as friends, friends turning to lovers, says talk about trust and friendliness, right? And judgment and worried that maybe this person doesn't feel the same way you feel. But I feel like you are making a decision based on your passion energy to move forward and have adventures. You want to have adventures with this person. This person who, right? Lovers are twins and then we have the two of pentacles. It feels like somebody's choosing a lover. Yeah. At times we must surrender the old before we can can um before something new can enter our lives. 
Somebody here, I think, feels they chose the wrong soulmate. And you can, I'm saying, you can. If your soulmate's not awake and your soulmate's not trying to heal themselves in some way, or at least allowing you to help them heal, it's not going to work. It's going to end up miserable. So we have Temperance, which is Sagittarius. We have Gemini here. We have the Empress, who is Taurus and Libra. Very balanced, very well-rounded. The Page of Cups is uh, telling me that there is some sort of a surprise. Something's going to be revealed to you. There is a message on the way, a loving message of some sort, that is going to give you great balance. I feel like this is the only moment in time when this can happen. When that call comes in, when that communication comes in, I feel like it's supposed to happen at that time. So for those of you who've been waiting for someone for 153 years, if after 153 years, that's when divine timing is, that's what's going down right now. I feel like for some of you, you've been waiting for a while. Um, the thing is, though, is if you don't make a decision to get out of one relationship, you're not going to be able to have the other. I feel like you are going to level up. I feel like this is all for your learning, right? To learn not to worry to how people perceive you if you decide to leave a relationship. And maybe you want to go off with someone who you have been friends with, who is turning to love. And that's your business. And if people want to get on you about your business, then maybe they don't belong in your life, right? If they don't want what's best for you. Not everybody's going to make a toxic decision. It doesn't feel toxic. It feels like somebody who's really trying to make a, a decision based on the information that they have. Now, understand, I feel, that once the decision is made and this, and this um, page of cups comes in here, I feel like there's a recognition is what I want to say. This le this Not this letter, but it could be a text or whatever it is. This thing that's going to pop up here, this message of love, I feel is coming to you because you have leveled up. It's going to be from someone who, who sees your worth. Somebody who could be quite... Um, quite spiritual in their own right. Someone who feels connected to you energetically. This is the person who's going to be sending messages. Um, and for those of you, some of you are in a relationship as this happens. Because understand, it says here that you're pulling away from something, but we have romance. Cupid's arrow strikes, right? So you already know what to do. Should you stay or should you go? I think that you knew the answer before you came here. You came here for a confirmation. And I think for those of you who have decided to leave a relationship, that you need some time on your own. You need time to get balanced, time to heal, time time for you, time to figure out who you are and what you want. What is, what is your path in love? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have three cups. Understood. Three cups and the ten of cups. Look at that. So there is something that is incredibly beautiful that is in the future you with someone else, you with friends, you could possibly meet your three of your, your ten of cups here. The three of cups is I think that in the future someone's asking you out. So it feels like for some of you, the ones of you who've, who have logged in here and are unhappy in your relationship, I think you do end up pulling away. I think you do end up surrendering the old because this is too beautiful to give up. And I don't think you're happy where you are, right? Okay. I love it. I love an empowered person, masculine or feminine. Living your life for you is the thing that you need to do before you decide to settle down and have kids. Yeah. You need to figure out what you need for yourself. It's all about you, first of all. And last of all. All right. What else do we have here? Tell me about the lovers and the two of wands. Somebody's making a decision. Oop. Almost fell. Somebody is making a decision. Yeah. Somebody who's looking over everything really close. <coughs> the magnifying glass is here. Somebody here is trying to make choices about their future and their stability, about themselves, looking really closely at the situation at hand. This magnifying glass comes up over the lovers. You're really sort of I don't necessarily know it's a comparison, but I feel like you're looking at your future, knowing that you're not the happiest you could be right now, but looking at other choices in love. Yeah, you're not necessarily paying the most attention to the person that you're with right now. Because you know that there's another choice out there. And I think that the other choice is something that you find to be fun and um adventurous and passionate 
And I don't think you're getting that where you are. Yeah, it does end, I feel. You do end something. Some of you here are ending something. Um, I believe that when you end that thing, it works out well for you. The Nine of Pentacles is here, which is, which is you know, this, the individual energy, right? Of course, this is a card of things of loss. And the Nine of Pentacles tells me that one of the losses is, yeah, that you, you end up getting out of a relationship because you choose to be single, be by yourself. You choose to get your own strength and stand on your own two feet and, and do the things that you want to do. I think that while you're doing all of this, living life, healing yourself, um, moving away from the old and welcoming the new, I think that's when this message pops up. You might even be like moving on to another relationship. I feel like that's when this page of cups message, it comes out of nowhere. It's like I thought things were dead. <laughs> yeah, it comes out of nowhere, this page of cups. 21. There's going to be a lot of Hmm. Ah, seven. Okay. There's going to be a lot of um, communication between you and someone else. Someone else that you feel didn't have any any feelings for you. I feel like this this mountain. It's like it was a mountain to climb, Elsie. I feel like this person is. There is somebody who I feel is going to reach out to you. Somebody who is single, or after you're single, they're going to reach out to you. The Eight of Wands is, is communication. Even though we've got this big barrier between us, this mountain to climb, you know, there's lots of things that, this is also success, right? So take it as it resonates. Like the mountains are a lot of success as well, but I'm, I, it feels like there's a lot to overcome here is what I want to say. And I think that what is to be overcome here, I think the Empress, Taurus and Libra, is trying to overcome this feeling of I'm never going to be happy. There's always going to be a barrier. Always going to be a barrier to the, to the partnership. There's always going to be some sort of barrier. So, it feels like uh, somebody is detaching from another situation. I'm not going to be happy here. I need to get over the barriers of, you know, feeling like I'm never going to get my Nine of Cups, feeling like I'm never going to be happy. All right, let's do a little bit of clarifying here. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer to what it feels right. Do what feels right. Cupid's arrow is about to strike. Are you staying or are you going? Are you going to miss it or are you going to... What are you going to do? you got to make a decision here. You're going to manifest it. Something you've been manifesting is here. The thing that you've been manifesting is here and you're looking over it like a, with a fine-tooth comb, wondering now if you want it. So you're in a relationship and someone else shows up that is your deep soul connector. Now what? You've been manifesting this person, but you're already in a relationship. So now what? Some of you are going to surrender the old. Do what's right for you. The Nine of Pentacles. On the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Somebody does become single here. So there is someone who's leaving a relationship. But you understand that it, it leads to your growth. It leads to incredible growth. Yeah. It almost feels like you were... You were unable to make the decision where you were at until you got all the details. And now that you have the details, I feel like you're now moving forward. For some of you, you're in a relationship and your your soulmate showed up or your twin flame showed up. And now what do you do? For, for some of you, I feel that that's the angst that you're feeling. It's like, do I just become single and stay single because I don't want to deal with this anymore? Yeah, it feels like I finally found happiness, Elsie. Found happiness with myself taking care of myself in my own power, making my own money. You know, this is a person who's an individual energy and enjoys it. This person's not lonely. Yeah, this person's in their sanctuary, right? Because most guys think that they're competing with other guys for this person, or most women think they're competing with other women for this person. But what they're competing with is this, peace, sanctuary. I'm all by myself and I love it. I'm treating myself well. That's what you're that's what you're trying to to break the barrier on here. 
or others are trying to break the barrier on you. I feel like once you get into your individual energy, once you do pull away from the old, um, going toward the new, I think that you find this beautiful, lovely place where nobody bugs you, where, um, where you're working on yourself. And you sometimes reach out to people. You know what? You're healing. You're healing like crazy. Yeah. With the temperance here. Um, you could be Sagittarius. You could be the one who's healing all of this. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. Waiting for harvest. Nurturing. You've had a transformation. That's what this is. You've transformed the self. You used to be a person, I feel, who was in a relationship and felt like you couldn't leave for fear that someone else may not show up, for fear that you'd never be happy again. But this is someone who's trusting in faith. And what is faith, right? Faith are things you cannot see. Yeah, that you know are there, but you cannot see. Your intuition is in overdrive here. The Seven of Pentacles is telling me that um, that you've been waiting because it looks too hard. Like maybe, maybe, the, maybe the mountains are too high. So you stay in your lane and you continue to grow. You continue to nurture the self. And guess what? Popped right out of the deck. Here comes your person. It really feels like you need to get out of whatever place you're in that you're not happy with, whether that to you is a job or a situation or a friendship or, or a relationship or a marriage. You need to leave that place if you sh should, should decide to leave that place. Um, that is the path to your growth. That's the path to your happiness. That's the path to someone who is, um, for some of you, that's the path to you taking control of your life. That's really it. Loving the self enough to take care, control of your life. But for others of you, I feel like you sit in a relationship waiting for the emperor, but that's not going to happen because the universe is like, nah, bro, you got to give up the old if you want the new. So for some of you, you're holding back some blessings here because um, you're not willing to give up the relationship that you're in. What is the challenge here for the collective? What's the challenge? What's this challenge, please? The challenge is communication. The challenge also, for some of you, could be legal issues. I think that if you're having legal issues, I feel like it's going to be something that is that is going to go in your favor because I see a lot of abundance and I see either you leveling up or meeting somewhere, someone else as you level up, right? We've got the Empress and the Emperor here. <coughs> and if the Emperor, the Emperor will find a way to climb that mountain, understand. And the Empress will find a way to climb the mountain. They are people who, you know, they, they are king and queen of, of wands as well, right? They're going to go get what they want. It feels like the, uh, maybe it's sharp words. Maybe it's like, I feel like with the king of swords here as the, as the challenge and touching the nine of pentacles, it's like, I'm going to have to talk to people, Elsie. <laughs> I'm going to have to say something. I really think you like your life as it is right now with no people around. We're looking at the bottom here. This is someone who stepped out on you. For some of you, that's going to be the reason why you leave. And it's going to happen quickly. The whip and the broom. It's going to happen. It's like, really? That's what you're doing here? Okay. Yep. That was the last chance and I'm out. All right. Who's the lover? What do we got here? Tell me about the lovers. Ooh. <laughs> it just popped out and fell on my chest. So... For some of you, if uh, if that is your empress, that's your person. Um, is that the person that you're choosing? Choosing the empress. Oh, interesting. So uh, you're choosing the person who broke your heart initially. And that's why you're looking at them so so closely. I feel. Yeah. Tell me about the page of cups. What's the uh, the message of love? What's the message of love? I feel like it's almost like you feel defensive about this message of love. Because the King of Swords is here, and so is that number eight, the sepulcher. No, not the sepulcher. The, um, the, the sarcophagus, right? Um, it's like you, you feel defensive because you're in this beautiful individual energy where you are taking care of you and really thriving. But you didn't know something else is growing. So we've got the, the Page of Cups. So for some of you, um, this... 
surprise message could be coming from someone who is Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo, um, but it could also be someone that you're communicating with. Tell me about this happiness. There it is in, the, in happiness, what you want. You want happiness in a partnership. You want love and you want a partner. So you want a business person and you want someone who's going to love you as well. I feel like the emperor and the empress are, are a beautiful match for that. But it looks like right now the emperor and the empress are not speaking, possibly holding their ground, right? <laughs> possibly we're not saying anything here. I feel like there is going to be a mountain to climb in terms of communication here with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's not, it, it feels like communication is not going off right now. It's a silent, it's a silent time. Nobody's talking to nobody. We're all worried about what's going on. It feels like somebody needs to break the ice and say something, right? That's the challenge. The challenge is like saying something. Look, I have feelings for you. Is this what I think it is? Um, instead of watching general tarot readings, which could be leading you astray because maybe you believe it's your reading, but it really isn't. You know, maybe you want it to be your reading. Maybe it truly is not. There's a difference between the situation as it is and the situation as you want it to be, <laughs> right? Yeah, for some of you, you're going to walk away. That's what it is. But look who's there. After you walk away, look who's there. The soulmate. The one that is grown. The one that's a father. The one that wants to get married and have kids and be financially well off. This person's intuitive and loyal and... This is everything that you want, I think. You two are going to be a great couple, but sometimes you have to get rid of the roadblocks first. You can't just, you know, can't just hope that, that what's coming to you is going to come to you before you learn the lesson. Yeah, let's get some advice here. Some advice, please, for the collective. Whew. Abundance. Decisions, yeah. Decisions about your abundance, right? Because you're in the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, at some point. So a decisions about your abundance and and um, how you're going to make clear decisions about what you're going to do with your abundance. Are you going to share it? Are you going to keep it? Are you going to stay single? What are you going to do? Ask your angels. <laughs> Seek divine counsel. And that's not me. And <laughs> you have enough wisdom to make the decision that you need to make. Knowledge gained through experiences for a um, or from wise counselor. So I'm just going to say, don't don't throw away the idea of you know having a wise counselor. Um, counselors and psychologists and psychiatrists, um, they you know they're healing people. They are. So somebody's going to ask you out. I believe that's what's coming up in the future. It leads to the ten of cups if they ask you out. Uh, I'm just going to say you don't know who this person is, but if somebody asks you out, please just go. You don't have to marry them if you have coffee with them, right? Make it in a public place. Have coffee with them. Figure them out. You're going to feel them out, and you're going to know if you're if you're into your intuition. You're going to know. You're going to know. All right, I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. I'm out of here. And uh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. If you're interested in a love reading, please uh, go to the description. Look for the yellow dot. That's where you'll see my email address and the link to Wizio. Love you guys. And I'm out for now. Bye-bye.